it's me, Hippie G. That's what they call me. <laughs> Having a slouch in the lounge. Yes, that's right. It's a little bit windy up there, so hold on to your hats. <laughs> Today, for story time with me, Hippie G, I'm going to read you a book called I Really Want to Shout. <laughs> I thought it would be quite a fun one. It's by Simon Philip and it's illustrated by Lucia Gagliotti. Yes, that's right. They have lots of books and they're ever so good. Shall we have a little read? Hmm. Here goes. <laughs> Sometimes I find it really tough to make sure I'm not in a huff because there's simply so much stuff that makes me want to shout. Why is it every single day that just as I've gone out to play my dinner's ready straight away? That makes me want to shout. If I want pud, why must I wait until I've cleared my dinner plate of green and yucky things I hate? Ooh. <laughs> it's so hard not to shout. And when I ask to stay up late, my parents won't cooperate, which makes me get a bit irate. That's a bit irritated. And I struggle not to shout. I think she finds it hard not to shout. But when I slam my bedroom door, it doesn't help. We argue more. I feel no better than before. That's right. I, it's so unfair. I shout. When morning comes, my mum and dad, me cheering up, they still look sad. I try but fail. The mood is bad. I think they want to shout. So from now on, I'm really keen to be laid back, relaxed and serene, the calmest kid you've ever seen. I'll never, ever shout. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> then in the playground at our school, a selfish child does something cruel. And though I try to play it cool, I really want to shout. And worst of all, he has no shame for when we're asked, so who's to blame? It's her, he meanly tries to claim, I'm far too shocked to shout. But then I suddenly unload the silent rage I haven't showed. I not so silently explode, I really, really shout. I try my best to stop and keep my tears inside, but bawl and weep. A puddle, lake, a sea, it's deep. Oh, she's dramatic. I like it. <laughs> I shout and cry and shout. But luckily my best friend hears, and thankfully she soon appears, by paddling through my flood of tears. Watch this! I hear her shout. And then she does a belly flop, which makes me laugh. My crying stop. She's quite the expert with a mop. Incredible, I shout. Oh, she sounds fab. And once she's checked that I'm okay, she asks, what makes you feel this way? Just everything I have to say. I always want to shout. My friend then says, my rage can make my heartbeat race and body shake. So much, I think that it might break. I often need to shout. But if I do, I have a rule that helps me to regain my cool. I draw my feelings. That's the tool which helps when I could shout. It's a great idea. But when I next feel mad and stressed and put her tactic to the test, my teacher's not at all impressed. It makes her rant and shout. Yes, I wouldn't go and draw on the wall. I don't think our grown-ups would be too happy. <laughs> I want to cry, but try to hide the way I feel and just decide to bottle it all up inside and hope that I won't shout. But trapped inside me, anger glows. He teases me, he sees and grows until he's huge. That monster knows I really need to shout. I fight the urge with all my might. But later on, at home that night, Dad sees that something isn't right and lets me scream and shout. He comforts me and holds me tight, says, 
feeling angry is quite all right. It's normal. So except there might be some times you want to shout. Page turn. Don't mind if I do. I know just what you're going through, as sometimes I feel angry too, but let's work out what works for you, so you won't need to shout. Try thinking of your favourite place, or find calm, a relaxing space. Just leave when someone's in your face, and bound to make you shout. Good idea. Do share your feelings, make them known, before your anger's fully blown, or write them down if you're alone, and feel like you might shout. This is great. Good advice, Dad. It's thanks to Dad I found a blend, a blend on which I now depend, of clever ways to help me mend my mood when I uh, could shout. When I feel hurt and want to weep, <laughs> I make my breathing slow and deep. <sighs> oh, that feels good. Give it a go. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> oh, that's fab. I'm going to do that. Sometimes I even fall asleep. That helps me not to shout. And when I want to scream and kick, I found that uh, talking does the trick. Pop my teeth in. <laughs> it really helps. Results are quick. I hardly ever shout. Oh, that's fab. Sometimes the only thing to do is bounce just like a kangaroo whilst playing songs on a kazoo. Zoop. <laughs> it's too much fun to shout. I find it stops me going mad. Could be the best idea I've had. The only problems, Mum and Dad. They really want to shout. <laughs> that was fab. Oh, thank you, Simon, for writing that book. I loved it. That's right. Perhaps if we feel like shouting, we should do some of those things. Maybe draw something, write, write our feelings down, speak to our grown-ups, or simply take a deep breath in and out. Imagine you're breathing in the smell of chocolate and blowing some leaves away. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> right. Well, after all that deep breathing, I think I need a snooze. <laughs> I'll catch you later.